Good morning and a very warm welcome to this Sunday short service here at Christ the Servant King CSK Hampton in Peterborough. We are absolutely delighted that you've joined us to worship our amazing God via our YouTube channel. It's great that we can connect with Jesus and connect with each other through the gift of technology. Now today we celebrate harvest as we complete our current sermon series looking at some of the Psalms. If we were in our church building meeting this morning, we would be inviting you to bring forward your harvest gifts for our food bank at CSK Church. During the season we're in, the number of people who are needing support with food and toiletries is sadly on the increase. Many people have lost their jobs due to the pandemic. Now, I'm sure you won't be surprised to know that I have quite a number of copies of the Bible in different translations and forms. This is my Poverty and Justice Bible. It's a great tool as many of the passages are highlighted already in orange, showing us just how often the Bible talks about the poor. The Lord cares about the poor, so we should too. So even though this service is taking place online, we are still asking you if you would be so kind as to donate food and toiletries at this harvest time to enable us to support people in our community. Food Bank has moved to a central Peterborough location during the pandemic, but we still have people who contact us directly at CSK Church. So during this season, we've set up our own little food pantry in our church to support those people. Now, church building will be open today, Sunday the 4th of October, from 3 until 6 p.m. for items to be dropped off. Or items can be donated anytime chimes our coffee shop is open, Wednesday to Saturday, 9.30 to 2.30 p.m. If you drop items off when chimes is open, please just take your items into the main worship space and leave them near the sign at the front. Let's together bless those who are in need at this time, as we know the Lord's blessing for ourselves. Would you pray with me? Lord God, we thank and praise you for your goodness to us. As we gather now to worship you together in our homes, please fill us all afresh with your Holy Spirit and enable us to worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I invite you to join in with me with the opening words in yellow from today's psalm, Psalm 8. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. We plough the fields and scatter the good seed of the land. We worship together in song. <laughs> and scatter the good seed on the land but it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand He sends the snow in winter the warmth to swirl the grain the breezes and the sunshine and soft refreshing rain all good gifts around more to us his children he gives our daily bread all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above then thank the lord oh thank the lord for all his love we thank thee 
then, O oh Father, for all things bright and good, the seed time and the harvest, our life, our health, our food, accept the gifts we offer for all I love in parts, and what Thou most desirest, our humble, thankful hearts. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above, then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord, for all His love. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above, then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord. Send down the Holy Spirit on your servant Joel for the office and work of a deacon in your church. Through your Spirit, Heavenly Father, give these your servants grace and power to fulfill his ministry. Make them faithful to serve and constant in advancing your gospel in the world. May they follow the example of Jesus Christ, your son, who washed the feet of his disciples and set the needs of others before his own, before their own. May their lives be disciplined and holy, their words declare your love and their actions reveal your glory, that your people may walk with them in the way of truth and be made ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit belong glory and honour, worship and praise, now and forever. Amen. You please stand and put on your stole. Turn, please, and face uh, Canon Jessica. We preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. We, we welcome you as a fellow servant, servant in the gospel. May, may Christ, Christ dwell in your heart through faith, faith that, that you may, may be rooted and Grounded in love. You turn back to face me. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. A Psalm of David. Lord our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens through the praise of children and infants. You have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? 
You have made them a little lower than the angels, and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the world, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the sea. Lord our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's nearly night time in our house and we love these things to help us go to sleep. Abby, what have you got? Um, Jupiter and the planet and I know all of them's cold and I like them because they're big and nice and shiny and I like the stars because they're shiny and bright and I also like it because space has a massive planet. Space has a lot of planets. I think Abby's been reading some space what encyclopedias. Tally, what have you got? Rocket. And it's a rocket with stars like on everywhere. Base. Like on base. Yeah, are you going off to space, Tally? Today we're celebrating that God made all the planets and all the stars. And yet he knows us by name. End. The end. Is that the end, Tally? Okay. Now we'll go and do a little bit more adult talking. But thank you, girls, for showing us your nighttime things. Are you going to go to bed now? Yeah. Mm, I'm suspicious. Night, girls. Well, our two little stargazers fell asleep fairly quickly. But Mummy, for one, is exhausted by the attempts of bedtime filming. Just say no. Well, we are at the end of our sermon series on the Psalms. And we have been looking at a wide range of human emotions lately on forgiveness and two psalms about lament and crying out from a place of pain. But we're going out with a bang with this one, a great psalm of praise, which is equally as necessary to the human soul as the other things that we've been looking at. It's related to harvest because we have the idea right from some of the earliest copies that this was sung at the time of the wine harvest or around the wine presses, which I am very happy 3,000 years later to still be praising God for. But I want to call this psalm crazy praise. It's crazy love and it's crazy hard to understand. The psalmist in nine verses has had a bit of a brain explosion. He's run out of words. He cannot get his head around the fact that God has created all of this. The great artist behind the heavens is still mindful and more so than mindful, loving, gives responsibility to mortal man. It's such a great psalm. And we can all be crazy praisers like this if we just follow the example of the psalmist. Crazy praise is the greatest name that I've just come up with for a children's action song. If you want to write those lyrics, then get in touch. We are going to be doing something together for Harvest at CSK. It's really sad, of course, that we can't be together in our usual way. But if you're thinking of coming over anyway to drop off the food that you normally would or the toiletry items, then if you're watching this on Sunday, we're going to be open from 3 to 6 for you to drop those things off. Or if you can't make today, then please come either Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday in the hours when Chimes is open in the following week and bring along your donation to help us build a CSK pantry for those in need. But there's more! We would love you to contribute to our Thanksgiving tree. We want to bring God a harvest of praise at this time when we can't say those things together. We can't worship together in the usual way. We want to show Hampton that we still think our God is worthy of praise, especially in a challenging season. And we want every Chimes customer to know that when they come in. So Joy has put on the window by the Chimes door a tree trunk and it's waiting for us to each bring our handprint leaf. So if you can draw around your hand, like so, we want the hands of the every single age room. So our very youngest member to our very oldest member. You can pick any color, it doesn't have to be autumnal colors. And on it, we'd like you to write something that you're thankful for. So I've written the joy of the Lord because it has been my absolute and only strength in this season. And you can also pop your name on it as well and then add it to the tree. If you don't have any paper or you've come and you've forgotten, we will have some spare at church as well. But wouldn't it be great if we covered that tree with our praises to God as a testimony of what he's done in our lives and who he is. 
So bring those along and let's get it completed within this week. But we're going to use our hands for more. So let's remember these five things. Number one, start off with the knowledge that God is good. So many people, if they know a little bit about God, think of him as judgmental or cold or far away. And in my experience, he's been the furthest from these things. Yes, there's holiness there, but he is so, so good. And he wants to reveal that to us. And if we don't start our praise life from that place, it's gonna be quite dry. It's not gonna be like this great Psalm where we're bubbling over with that love. So if you make one change to the start of your prayer life, how good do you believe he is? Start by making that change. Number two, our directional finger points the way we should go. So many people praise the wrong things or perhaps feel like they can't praise anything at all. But that's not how we were created. We were created for the purpose of being daughters and sons of praise. It's like having a boat in dry dock. Sometimes it might look all right. Sometimes it might need a lick of paint. Sometimes it might even be admired. But until it's out on the sea or the lake or the river, it's not uh, fulfilling its purpose. It needs to be out there. And unless we are people who are praising the God who created us, then we don't find what we're made for. We don't find what makes our soul sing. And don't you want to be like the psalmist? His soul is clearly singing off the page so much so that we can feel it 3,000 years later. So if you want direction in your life, praise is the best place to start. Number three, the middle thing, the most important thing. This has been a hard season and not everyone has been in the same place with it. It seems like it's going to continue for a while. And if you are struggling to find a single thing that has gone right, if you are in a place of difficulty, then we don't want to say that bad days don't exist. Bad times, bad months don't exist. Of course they do. But the one unchanging thing, the main thing, is the truth on which my life turns and I pray yours does too. That Jesus is real. That the best news in the world is that God sent his son to live here, to show us how to do this thing called life, to live a life worshipping the Father. And then his death and his burial and his resurrection brought him that freedom to come back to life, but brought us with him. And we're going to be singing a song at the end of this, Ain't No Grave, reminding us that not only did he break through, but he then took us with him. So that is always our core truth that is worth praising God for, even when everything around is shaking. Number four, apparently this is our weakest finger. I don't know if that's true. Medics, tell me if I'm wrong. But praising God from a place of weakness is the best thing to do. That's why I wrote this on my hand. When I have felt so stressed beyond myself, when I felt that things have been so negative, it is true that only his joy is our strength. And if you feel weak, like you can't offer anything, we lay our burdens down in praise and we rightly fix our eyes on something higher. But you get so much in return. It's like being refreshed again at a fountain. It is like you get every single thing that you need back that restores you to you and you to life. So if you are feeling weak, and we all do at some time, then praise. And number five, our last one, but our little one. This psalm teaches us so much about the power of a little prayer. Let's have a read for this very crazy bit. You've built a stronghold by the songs of babies. Strength rises up with a chorus of singing children. This kind of praise has the power to shut the enemy's mouth. Childlike worship will silence the madness of those who oppose you. Well, if the world is mad, then I want to be crazy. How can this be true? If you're a child listening to this, then know the power of your single line of praise. If you're an adult listening to this, know that in the midst of whatever craziness you are going through, your single, feeble, whispered, tiny little word of thanks is how you start this kind of praise life. And that builds up a stronghold against the swirling lies of the world. And it makes me think again of the song that we're about to sing, where it says that shame and fear, they're lies of the enemy, but we remember the one to whom everything else must bow. So start with praise to that name. 
your little voice is so, so powerful. And what name is it? Well, this isn't Sunday school. You know the answer. It's always Jesus. But this psalm mentions names and the role of them. It's not, Lord, you're so great and powerful. It's, Lord, your name is so great and powerful. At the end, he repeats it. And then he has, we're filling the earth with the fame of your name. And that's because names are so powerful and so intimate at the same time. And that is our God. We all invoke names when we need the power to come. We all say, you wait until X gets home. But we also know that it's close. We have a family name. We have things that only make sense to our little private circles because that's a name that means something. Why were we given that name? It's personal to us. If you have a name, it means it was chosen for you. You are loved. You are known. And that's exactly what Jesus came to reveal. A God who, when we look up at the heavens and we realise we're this big and creation is this big. So how much bigger is the creator? That's the power we want to know that we're part of and can call on. But we've also got the closeness and the personal nature of the name of Jesus who came to show us what the Father is like. So that is why we praise and that is who we praise. So let's remember with our hand really quickly. God is good. Praise gives us a direction in life. It's what we need to do every single day. Three, keep the main thing, the main thing, and praise God for Emmanuel, God with us. Number four, when we're at our weakest, it brings us so much strength. And number five, the littlest voice is powerful. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you that you are worthy of praise every single day. Would you help each of us to meet you at a place of praise and be like this psalmist, crazily in love with you and in awe of your beauty. And would you help each of us to build our testimony to Hampton and wherever we live of who you are and why you are so worthy, Lord. Amen. Shame is a prison. Shame is a prison. As cruel as a grave. Shame is a robber. Randy's come to take my name. Oh, love is my redeemer. Lifting me up from the ground. Love is the power where my freedom song is found. There ain't no grave.
was a battle. Oh, there was a battle, a war between death and life. And there on a tree, the Lamb of God was crucified. And he went on down to hell, he took back every king. He rose up as a lion and said, No captives free the rain, no. He rolls up out of the ground The rain won't break Could hold his body down morning. Harvest. We plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land, but is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell the grain, the breezes and the sunshine, and soft refreshing rain. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord for all his loving love. Father in heaven, all good gifts come from you. You send the sunshine and the rain, and it is through your love and care that we can enjoy harvest time. Thank you for providing so richly for our needs and help us to share the good things with those who have little or nothing. Lord, we Pray for your blessing on every kind of harvest that we enjoy. Thank you for the harvest of the land and the sea. Bless too the harvest of factory, mine and workshop. Bless the harvest of research and the creative art. May we work together with you in every area of our life to produce what is worthwhile, good and fruitful. May you be glorified in all of this. Dear Lord, we pray for families at this time that are on low income and that haven't got much money. We pray for the provision of food banks, Lord, 
that provide food at this time that provide food to these families and the homeless. We pray for the coronavirus, Lord. We ask that people will listen to what the government is saying and that they will pay attention to it. We pray for a vaccine that will come quickly, Lord, so that we can all get back to normality. We ask this in your name. Amen. Now we our, say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your, your will be done, done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Amen. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. that we worship and are loved by a great big God who does indeed hold us in his hands. Please do bring along your harvest supplies to our church building if you're able to and don't forget to draw your hand of thankfulness to go on our tree of thankfulness in the church building. Thank you to all those who have taken part in this service, the people you've seen on screen today and those who have worked hard behind the scenes with all the technology to enable us to worship together. We now have a service in our church building every Sunday. All the services take place at 5 p.m. This evening we have Worship Oasis, an opportunity to spend an hour together in the Lord's presence with a message to reflect on, 
some live worship, which will be led tonight by Joel, our curate, and time waiting on the Holy Spirit. Next Sunday, we launch a new service for families, Picnic Praise, which will also take place at 5 p.m. Do check out our website or contact our church office for more information. Next Sunday, we begin a new sermon series about relationships. Our relationship with God, with people, church, work, social media. We hope that you'll be able to join us. So let's end our time together by praying for the Lord's blessing. May the love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. The joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you today and evermore. Amen. Thank you for worshipping with us at Christ the Servant King, CSK Hampton. We hope that you'll be able to join us again here online or at one of our services in our church building. Every blessing to you.